Hello and welcome to this quick video. Uh, not about this, actually, the battery that's inside it. This, for those of you that missed it, is the Vulcan Innovations Dove. I actually really like this. This is kind of a modern day Bixler. It's very floaty and forgiving, easy to fly, piece of cake to launch. Has a really funky prop that actually rotates around the shaft at the back that folds up so it doesn't get damaged when you land. Has kind of a conventional T-tail, comes in a box. However, the thing that's kind of held me back from flying this more than I have is the battery I've been trying to use, which has been this thing here. This is a 3S lithium ion pack, 3000 milliamp hours, and it's been okay. It's provided me with nice long flight times. However, with lithium ion, as soon as I open the throttle to try and get anywhere at any speed, the voltage just drops off a cliff. Now I've been looking for a long time to, for a battery that would fit in here that would give me spot on central gravity. So there my, my fingertips are on the center of gravity, nudules, and it's very slightly nose heavy, absolutely perfect. And what's in here is a battery manufacturer that I haven't played with. And I'm not here to kind of endorse it or say you have to go and buy this stuff, but I have had a relatively good experience with this. This is these things here. These are the Z batteries, Z-E-E-E. -E -E. Now I hadn't really come across these things. I used to buy a lot of my smaller batteries uh, from people like Hobby King, back when they used to stock everything and it used to be held in warehouses here in the UK. Now I've bought lots of batteries from places like Genze since Hobby King shut down. Obviously Hobby King are back open, but their battery selection is, to be honest, still pretty terrible. So I've been looking for a place where I can get my hands on smaller batteries that are useful for these kind of models without paying a fortune or waiting six, seven, eight weeks for the shipping from the slow boat from China. And these Z guys seem to be doing it. I did go on the website, I had a look, I need to say a massive thank you to a Patreon of mine called Dave for sharing this. Uh, I actually asked on a recent live stream what other people were using in this model for their batteries and Dave came back very quickly and said, oh, I used the Z stuff and gave me the link. And so far, fingers crossed, these things have been performing really well and they're not too expensive and I had them within 48 hours. So I'll put a link down below and you can go and check them out. If you've been using this Z stuff and had an experience, I'd be interested to know what you found because hopefully we found a nice, local, easy, relatively cheap way to get hold of batteries quickly like we used to do in the days of Hobby King before they went pop. So if you do have an experience, let me know. But again, link below if you want to go and take a look. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.